Okay. So checking this out, this is really cool. I really like the changes you made. There's some really, really neat stuff there. And I really have only minor notes. It's, it's pretty much done. Great moments there where things are much more clear in terms of silhouettes. Uh, pauses are great. That, love this. Love that. That's so cool. So my minor, uh, minor things would be, so this is all neat, right? All that stuff here. As he comes down, you see uh, how he pushes off. If I be super picky, it feels like this foot here is kind of, it all kind of pivots off the toe. And then right at the very end here, see how the body's moving, but the foot's not moving. Just make sure that it continues to move. And at this point, maybe the foot could tilt, tilt over this way. It's kind of the same thing here. It feels like it's a big foot roll. But make sure that it feels kind of like a push, so you want to have parts of the toe still moving away as he's pushing down. Just watch out for stuff like that, or super picky things where you see his knee goes down, down, down to the right, and then suddenly goes down to the left, and then down forward again. So this would be one continuous arc without that one last down move. Um, you know, stuff like that for just your, your final polish pass. I uh, love the stuff on the fingers here. It's all good. My first major thing would be this. It still feels weird how how he goes back and both arms come up. Uh, hands, I mean. And then he goes down and pushes off. And if you watch this in real time, beep, it's kind of it's like a weird anticipation where it's almost playful. It's kind of a... I don't know. To me, it feels like you want to have that hand come down and then bring that hand up like this much earlier so it feels like he's he's i think i mentioned that before where he he kind of pushes against the tree and makes sure that he doesn't slide down and that's kind of what makes you have your wrist go up a bit it's not a shock killer and then you know you can ask other people as well I'm, I'm curious about their reactions and stuff but it's just something where it feels a bit off it feels almost too animated as in i'm showing my anticipation with everything including my wrists that's all that's all cool. I love the whole boom, how he settles here, looks back. And I love the timing of the head. All right, so he comes down and goes, okay, what's over there? What's over there? Oh, now the only thing, this would be my second big comment. So first the hands here. And you see how your, your head goes up here. There's a bit in the head move with the body. So he looks over there. I will make this, just this section here in his head. Make that twice as fast and maybe like 30% bigger. So it's a very clear, I'm checking, checking, checking. Oh, it's over there. And this feels a bit soft. It's like, ah, oh. it's not as, as revealing as of a take. It's more like a, ah, oh, as opposed to, oh, it's over there. Grabs the thing. Ding, ding, ding. <gasps> and that, that will be my third part here where when he comes to a stop here, first watch out, you got your spear aligning with his uh, thigh. It's a bit funky, just for, um, uh, what's it called, the tangent and your silhouette gets a bit unified there. So you want to have it potentially bring that arm up higher, which will make him a bit more alert, which is fine. And then you can bring up that spear just higher above the thigh. And I think reaction wise, Watching it now, the way it works, when it's acting, everything's great. I would, the only thing I would do is, he takes that step, and I like how he goes up, right? The whole body here goes up, but it feels like your roots could be, he's taking a step, and he finishes that step by having his root uh, actually here. So imagine your your leg will come down to almost that far, right? It's kind of a messy drawing. And then he goes back into um, into what you have. So if I take this off here. So he comes in, root goes, continues to go forward, and then he goes back with the root going back here. And the reason why I'm saying that is that imagine you're, you're stepping and you're realizing, for instance, like you stepped on a branch and it's really loud. It's kind of like your step <gasps> and then you go back. And it feels your... your like you want to stop, you want to interrupt the move forward. And right now it feels like you're taking a step, but your root is already not moving forward. It's almost, it knows too much. Hope that makes sense. <laughs> and then, so yeah, so he goes back, a bit more of a root back and not just a rotate out of this. And he goes, ding, 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 ding. 
Hiding, hiding. Oh, what's this? I love this. I love also the timing here, how you go. Uh, it's kind of that lean over checking. Uh, is it good? Okay, it's safe. And I love this. It's kind of like, okay, one, two. And it's that that hop into getting ready. Well, okay. Phew. And I love the pause. And I love the timing of the of the swing here. Phew. And I love how it continues on with a couple steps. And then how you go back with the root. It's that type of movement back that I'm talking about uh, here, right? So it's not just stop and rotate up, but it's the it's that point of the root being almost here and then going back here. But again, you rest it and it checks and it's so good. It's a, it's a huge, huge change from last time, last time where you really nailed the timing and the acting. And there's great contrast in big moves, fast moves. Yeah, that's about it. It's super cool. It's, it's really, really neat progress there. Love it all. Love all the steps there. Love how that little foot slides forward. If I picky, you could say that the angle position of the foot is kind of the same as it moves forward. So you can imagine that at the end, <clears throat> uh, you know, if, if, it's, if your foot your thingy here and then your foot comes down to that right imagine that it rotates this way so that when you move the whole foot forward the tip kind of drags and moves a bit back right so you don't have so it doesn't feel like that's a picture that you're moving forward so there's more dimension and more perspective change as you move that foot forward as the foot slides and then it brings it down here okay super cool thank you all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you